Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at this Toshiba Satellite L505D. Now this particular machine came out sometime in 2009 or 2010. It has Windows 7 on it and it originally came with Windows 7 Home Premium. However, in 2015 I upgraded that to Windows 10 through the free update service. However, I wasn't too pleased with the performance of this older machine and the hardware that it had. So I ended up downgrading it a month or two ago back to Windows 7 Home Premium. Now I do like the professional versions of Windows better than the home versions. However, since this already had the COA for Windows 7 Home Premium, I just decided to put that back on it since then I wouldn't need to use another uh, Windows 7 professional key on a machine that I don't use too often at all. Anyway, so, the machine is now running Windows 7 Home Premium, after saying that about 500 times. Anyway, enough talking about Windows. Inside of this machine we have the AMD Athlon 2 processor, running at 2 GHz, and that is a dual-core processor. We have a 15.6 inch widescreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 Running that display is the ATI Mobility Radeon 4100, or 4100 if you want to say it that way I suppose, with 256 megabytes of video memory. Inside we also have 3 gigabytes of DDR2 memory with a 160 gigabyte hard drive. So let's go ahead and take a look around. On the front of the machine it might be kind of hard to see, but we have a nice wheel here to move the volume up and down, and that's actually a really nice feature because you don't have to go in and use either clickable buttons. You can just sit here at the front and move it around. However, if you're sitting with this machine in your lap, you might accidentally bump the volume wheel here and move the volume way up or way down, but that's not too big of an issue. Next to that, right where my thumb is here, we have a little indicator light for the Wi-Fi, and here we have an SD card slot as well. We also have five different indicator lights here for, I believe, power. This one's if it's plugged into the power adapter, the charging of the battery itself, a uh, hard drive, and that looks like a piece of paper or whatever that is. Don't really know. On the left-hand side of the machine, we will find our ventilation for the CPU and components inside. We will also find VGA video out, Ethernet, and a eSATA port, which also combos as a USB 2.0 port, as well as audio in and audio out. On the right-hand side of the machine, we'll find our DVD drive, in addition to two more USB 2.0 ports, a blank for where a modem would be, our charging port, and a Kensington lock port. Taking a quick look at the back of the machine, we will find nothing. Opening the machine up, we will find our 15 inch widescreen display. At the top you will notice we do not have a webcam here and I don't really know if this machine has a microphone either. Down below the screen we will find our Toshiba logo which is actually a little bit slanted. Moving our way down we will find our power button towards the middle there. We will find our speakers on the upper left and right hand sides. Of course we have our keyboard and the nice thing about this keyboard is that it's actually kind of pretty much a full-size keyboard because we do have the nice numeric pad over here unlike some laptops that just don't use that and leave it blank here we use the whole area for the keyboard which is actually a nice feature to have if you do like you know typing with the actual additional numeric keypad there at the side opposed to it being here integrated into the other keys of course below the keyboard we have our trackpad on the bottom of the machine, we will find some access doors. The one in the center here is to upgrade the RAM. Over here we have the hard drive and we have the battery right here as well. Of course, we have plenty of ventilation for the CPU and other components inside as well. So, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Here we go. As I mentioned previously, this machine is running Windows 7 Home Premium. 
I can't remember if it's the 32-bit or 64-bit version. We'll find out when we uh, look at the specs here in a minute. You may notice a little bit of a checkerboarding pattern on the screen. That's not really there in real life, it's just the camera picking that up. As I've said before, I'd use screen capture software, however I'd like to give you the most realistic experience as possible without slowing down the CPU while doing it. It's really taking its time to think here today. And there we are. Now I may need to look for Wi-Fi or enabled Wi-Fi here as it's going to end up looking for an Ethernet connection uh, being connected to our stereo downstairs. It's right next to our Wi-Fi router at the same time, so I might as well use Ethernet since we're so close to it. So let me go ahead and turn Wi-Fi back on and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I now have Wi-Fi enabled. That just took a second. I guess I didn't need to stop the video for it. But we'll go ahead and we will go and right click here. And we'll get the properties of this machine. So eventually the system rating will come up. I believe it's three point something. But you can see our AMD Athlon 2 processor there. Running at two gigahertz, our three gigabytes of memory. When I received this machine, it had two gigabytes and I upgraded it by an extra gig. It gives it a little extra room to play around with. So, we'll go ahead and click on the experience index here. And we can see our lowest score is the graphics. Interestingly, the gaming graphics are a little bit better. But anyway, definitely usable. So, that's a little bit of that. Let's go ahead and we'll click on Firefox here. Of course, Firefox and Chrome and any other application like that is still up to date on this machine. We don't have any problems with that there. Since Windows 7 is still supported until 2019, then it'll drop support. But until then, it's still a great operating system and it still receives updates on uh, from Microsoft and applications that you may put on this machine as well. So it's still uh, receiving, you know, uh, security patches and things like that. Still up to date. Anyway, here we have Firefox, came right on up. We'll go ahead and go to About so we can see what version we're running here. Version 54. Very nice. And of course anything will run just fine on this machine. Let's go ahead and go to the lighting site here. And everything loads absolutely fine. We'll go to the gallery and look at some of the pictures. And we can scroll through just fine. Everything loads. No lag. Beautiful. Of course, another uh, big website that uses a lot of power is YouTube. And here it is. It works just fine as well on this machine. Not a problem. Works very well. Uh, as I may have previously mentioned, I did have Windows 10 on this machine through the uh, upgrade program that they had at the time. And uh, it ran okay, but I wanted to go back to 7. I missed Windows 7 on this machine, and I do believe that the hardware on this machine was designed for Windows 7. Usually these budget computers are designed around 
the operating system at the time and sometimes when you upgrade them to a newer operating system it doesn't you know work so well anyway Windows 10 did run just fine on this machine I just uh, didn't like it uh, a lot on this particular computer so Windows 7 it is anyway the reason I wanted to say that is because YouTube ran fine on Windows 10 as well anyway as you can see here the ad played and we're scrolling it's gonna load more it loads very fast it's pretty snappy I'm actually really surprised but it does a great job and YouTube runs fine I have not tried it in HD but it probably would do 720p at least it does everything that you may want to throw on it for the internet email uh, Facebook whatever it may be of course Chrome is up to date as well and you can install other uh, web browsers such as Opera and uh, you could use Internet Explorer if you do like that however uh, it's not the best but we'll bring up Chrome here we can see what uh, version it's running I believe it's running a really old version yeah so anyway Chrome works just fine here of course we have Office 2010 my favorite version and that comes up and will run just fine here it takes a little bit to load but that's not too big of a deal that wasn't too long and here you go you're up and right in your paper it has the same ribbons and everything as the 2016 version however it uh, just looks a little older very nice now being a machine that we use uh, with our stereo system we have Spotify installed on here and also iTunes I just don't have it pinned down here just yet and both of those applications run absolutely fine on here no lag or at all uh, no crashing from Spotify or anything it all works very nicely you can go ahead and take a look at maybe some of the other applications that are on here and all of these work surprisingly very well so anyway it's a really nice uh, budget machine that still works great to this very day I'm very happy with it anyway I really do hope you enjoyed this video and also please comment rate and subscribe and thank you very much for watching